2022 Volvo C40 Recharge First Drive, EV puts the fast and fastback. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. Meet the new C40 Recharge, Volvo's first foray into the four-door coupe SUV format and its first model to be offered exclusively with a battery electric powertrain. Based largely on the XC40 Recharge, which has gas-fired siblings, the new C40 shares many of that electric SUV's delights, including handsome styling and grin-inducing acceleration. Unfortunately, it also shares a few of the XC40's drawbacks. Volvo C40 Recharge, a familiar drive in a slicker package. We have a lot of nice things to say about the Volvo C40 Recharge's looks, but you probably want to know how it drives, so that's where we'll start. The C40 shares most of its mechanical bits with the XC40 Recharge, including the 402 horsepower, 487 pound to foot 2 motor powertrain. And like the electric XC40, it's comically quick versus your expectations, Volvo claims a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 4.5 seconds, 0.2 seconds quicker than the XC40. Our testing showed the XC40 recharge to be even quicker than Volvo claimed, and we wouldn't be surprised if the C40 recharge makes the sprint in something closer to 4 seconds flat. While getting from 0 to 60 in the C40 recharge is good for grins, it's the 50 to 80 that'll really make your eyes pop. Who thought merging onto the highway could be such fun? In the C40, you can stroll up the on-ramp behind the slowest of trucks, then move into the left lane as you nail the accelerator, disappearing into the distance in glorious near silence. But the magic of the C40 recharge is that you won't realize how quick it is until you ask it. The accelerator pedal setup is masterful. While many 400 horsepower cars are jumpy and impatient, the C40 allows you to layer the power on smoothly and progressively. It's only when you give the go pedal a serious jab that the C40 does its disappearing act, and with no hesitating or lurching as you'd get in an internal combustion-powered car. Its single-speed transmission means there's no need to wait for a downshift. The brilliance of the pedal setup is even more evident when you turn on the C40's one-pedal driving feature, which applies regenerative braking as you lift off the accelerator pedal. For those unfamiliar, Regan uses the motors as generators to both replenish the battery using energy recaptured as the car slows. If you step on the brake pedal, the C40 automatically mixes regenerative and friction braking, the pedal setup makes for easy modulation between power or braking, and one can easily get gradual slowing or a rapid pull-up to a complete stop. Few cars make one-pedal driving as smooth and intuitive as the C40 Recharge does. Short range, not fast enough fast charging. Unfortunately, another component that the C40 Recharge shares with the XC40 is the 78 kWh battery pack, of which 75 kWh is usable. Volvo anticipates a slightly better EPA range rating here, at 225 miles versus 223 for the XC40, itself up from 208 in last year's model but that's still not an impressive number. We don't like to engage in range anxiety scare tactics, most of the EV owners we know have home chargers and can fill up every night if they like, and 225 miles is fine for day-to-day -day driving. But it's not great for long-distance travel, as the C40 will need to be juiced up every 3-4 highway hours. And that, too, has its own issues. The C40's fast charging maxes out at 150 kilowatts. There are several new EVs that can charge at 200 kilowatts or better, and a few that can take advantage of Electrify America's 350 kilowatts chargers. At its 150 kilowatt rate, Volvo estimates that the C40 can be fast charged from 10 to 80% in 37 minutes, but 80% on the Volvo is only 180 miles. Based on our experience, fast charging at 150 kilowatts from 80 to 100% can take a half hour or longer. That's one heck of a long lunch. If Volvo isn't going to fit a bigger battery, it could at least fit faster charging gear. Smooth cruising with pilot assist. The short tether and not so fast fast charging is all the more of a shame when you consider what a pleasant long distance cruiser the C40 is. Our test route took us from Brussels, Belgium, out to the historic city of Bruges and back to Ghent, where the C40 is built. Our hope for factory tour was cancelled, damn you, COVID. But we did get a chance to experience the C40 recharge's easy and nimble maneuverability on Brussels' narrow, urban streets. Also it's good brakes, Google Prioride à droite, a chaotic French driving regulation that Belgium uses as well.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.